so uh, you're no longer on Biggest Loser, you're no longer on Days of Our Lives, but you've been keeping busy with the Hallmark uh, movies, right? Yes, I make mysteries for the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel, yes. which is super fun. This They're is the third one? This is the fourth, it's gonna be the fourth one, oh. yes. They're called Murder, She Baked, mm -hmm. speaking of cooking. Right. Um, and she is a baker who has a cute uh, co cookie shop, and then she happens to solve, there's a lot of murders that happen her in her very small town. Right. So Hannah is very crafty at solving murders. She's very clever at it. And uh, well, you would love this story. There's a cat featured in these movies. Her name is Moisha. And we found a rescue cat to be the star of our movie, Moisha. And is she too. good? Can she act? Yes, she's very good. Though she oddly looks like Yoda in that picture. They're like, the ears are... But anyway, she's awesome, and uh, I, I don't know if you have a lot of experience working with cats, but it is not the easiest. Well, that's why I'm asking, because my cats would not, they're not gonna pay attention right, to Right, no, this cat does not care about me or my performance. It's all about Moisha. So I have a clip I brought you of me trying to make do with this oh, cat, who's great. the star, the diva cat. Could still be a crime of passion, don't you think? Don't eat the cupcakes. Don't you think? Should we get the cat to come back? Back to the start. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna, can't let you see the cupcakes. Oh, perfect. Hey, no, no, no chocolate. <laughs> I mean, well that's, whose idea was that to put a cat in there? Right, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, whenever I see a cat in a movie or anywhere, I'm thinking, how do you do that? You because do that? they don't listen. That's the whole thing about cats. No, I was like trying to lure the cat towards me, you know, whatever. No. The cat was like, sometimes into it, and sometimes like, no. Yeah. No, no, they don't want to be in the business. Right. They, no, they're <laughs> no. not interested. Um, no, no. Let's talk about your book. Uh, and, uh, you know, Portia read this. You gave her the manuscript. I do. So Portia's no. quote is on the front. She really loves this book. She was the first person to read it. She was the first person to read it. I was so nervous. I sent it to her. And then, um, I and she was so awesome to offer to read it. And uh, and then I was sitting there. It's the most nerve-wracking thing to someone send someone your manuscript because I was literally, like, every five seconds checking my phone, like, has she read it now? Yeah. Has she read it now? Like, it takes a couple hours, yeah. right? No, no response. And then she, and then, and then finally she texted me back, and you, just, you see the little like dot dot dot, and I was just waiting for it to come through, and it, she was so yeah. No, supportive. she loves it, and she, uh, she loves the way you write because you write these novels, and you know hers was obviously audi autobiography. Yeah, we yeah. talked all about yeah. our writing technique. Yeah, it she was said awesome. she wants to learn how to write a novel from you because she loves the way you write. That is the yeah. nicest. That yeah. is the nice thing. It's, uh, what, what is this one about? Okay, so this one's about a makeup artist. And I write about behind the scenes of Hollywood, but makeup artists know everything, right? They know everything about everyone and they know all the secrets. And so I want to tell the story of this makeup artist, Alex, she has to find her way um, in Hollywood. She ends up working for a, uh, a very difficult boss who makes life very complicated for her and she gets into a little bit of hot water and uh, it's just a fun, gossipy, you know, juicy story of yeah. Hollywood yeah. and falling in love. That's great. Well, you know, you, this is, how many books have you written now? This is my third novel. Yeah, that's fantastic. Good for you. You. You're very busy. All right, uh, Opportunity Knox is out now, and everyone in the audience is going to go home with a copy. Yeah.